Uh, I'm going to start here with our, our stage cart test. So what, what the OutRun system does, it automates all of the infield functions of your grain cart. As we open up that field, we're erasing the green parts of the field, and so that opens up area for where the cart can operate. So we're keeping track of coverage, so we don't, we don't, we're not planning a path across stuff we haven't harvested, and uh, we're also aware of things uh, that may be obstacles that you haven't harvested. If you have a power pole in your field that you may not want to drive through, uh, you, our path planner is aware of that and knows not to not to track through that. So here I'm gonna I'm gonna drop that staging point. You can tell it where to go and what direction to face when it gets there. So as it's staging along that blue line, you have you have visibility of of how it's gonna get to that point. That blue line is trying to get from point A to point B as fast as possible, and it is also attempting to follow the path that your combine took to harvest the field. So that gives us uh, controlled traffic, so we're minimizing the amount of paths that grain cart take that's unique. So if we put those paths on top of one another, we're making sure that uh, we're, we're trying to overlap as much as possible. And then we're also keeping parallel with the rows. Uh, so uh, cornfield, for example, you don't want to take off across the rows. Uh, you're, we're going to keep parallel just by following the combine uh, path itself. We also have some information on the tractor itself. We get its fuel level, its def level, and then we would also get notifications that come from the tractor. So if you were to get a warning alarm, uh, something were to go wrong on the machine itself, the user of, of the app here would be notified and they'd be able to react to that, just as if someone was in the tractor. Next, we're gonna show the ready to fill task. So from the combine perspective, I'm ready to fill the grain cart. That will initiate a path from the tractor to catch up to the combine and then match our speed and we can unload to that cart on the go. So I've initiated that task. It's a one button click, uh, very simple to use for the operator. They don't have to think about what they're doing. Uh, they're, they're continuing to focus on their harvest task. They just initiate the task, uh, simpler probably than a radio call most times. The cart's going to come up alongside us, uh, follow our track, match our speed here and then uh, pull up alongside with our unload target. As it pulls up alongside us, we have the ability to nudge that unload target anywhere within the cart. So our, our uh, user interface changes on the application itself and we can nudge that location. So if I want to unload towards the back of the cart, you can see now the cart's moving towards the back. And if I want to move towards the front, I can do that as well. Or if I were to stop, that cart would stop with me and uh, I would finish unloading, or if I were plugged, it would stop with me, and uh, I wouldn't have to worry about fumbling with the app to get it to stop or anything like that. After a few seconds, the cart times out, uh, cancels its, its unload task, and then just simply waits for the next task. So I can stage it to the other end of the field again. I could call it for another unload if I was turning around a headland, for example, or we can send it to truck. Uh, send a truck is a special case of the staging task where the truck zone is already defined, and we can simply press send a truck once. It'll generate a path to that truck zone. It'll arrive at that, at that area, go to its standby mode and wait for someone to get into the truck and then unload it uh, where the, the, uh, the grain will proceed to its next uh, destination.